Hello guys and welcome to another Hackerang video. Today we're looking at the beautiful binary string problem. So Alice is given a string and uh, she doesn't want the string to contain the substring 010. She says that if the substring 010 exists within her string then it's no longer considered beautiful. We're then tasked to count and print the minimal number of steps it takes to make Alice string beautiful, meaning that to make it beautiful, we have to remove every occurrence of the substring 010. Ha! This looks like a general regular expression problem. So regular expression, what we can do is we can actually group or match a pattern, and then we can just grab those patterns, count them, and that will give us the minimal number of steps. So what I'm going to do is go down here and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this here. And this is just a website that I normally use when I'm writing programs that require me to actually find some patterns or figure out certain um, content within huge text files. All right. So we can actually do something and we can check this to see if we're grabbing the right information or if we're parsing the right information. So what we need to do is erase this and if we go ahead and pass in the value 010, you can see that we grab two groups here of 010, okay, meaning that at most we only need to go two steps to make this string beautiful by removing these two instances okay so hopefully that makes sense and we can try it with another example here i think uh for this one it should be three so let's copy that go back here erase this and paste this and you can see that we have three matchings here all right which will give us the same answer as this. So let's go ahead and actually implement this. Uh, if you haven't used regular expressions before, um, they're in the java.util.regex um, package. And we're going to be using the pattern and the matcher class. I could literally do this in one line of code, but I will not take that approach. Okay, so I'll try to make it as easy to follow as possible. So what we need to do first is uh, create a pattern object. So I'm going to call this P, and this is going to equal to uh, pattern dot compile. And what we want to compile is we want to compile the pattern, right? So our pattern is going to be the substring zero one zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass that here as an argument. So we're going to do zero one zero. The next thing we want to do is create a matcher object. And what the matcher object is going to do is look at our current string and figure out how many of those patterns actually exist. And then it's going to go ahead and uh, give us back a group of those of that pattern. Okay. So it's going to give us every occurrence of that pattern. So what we're going to do is create a matcher um, object. I'm going to call this M. This is going to equal to p dot and then we're going to do matcher and we're going to pass in b here so what we want to do is we want to figure out how many of the patterns that we have by actually matching them to the string right so we have our uh, substring that we want to figure out how many of them contain in B. So what we do is we create a pattern, which is going to be this. We then see how many of that pattern actually exists in B. And then we can go ahead and uh, look over that. So what we need to do is create first a counter because we want to go ahead and count the minimal steps. Um, if you're using uh, Java 12 or Java 13, there are actually more methods down that will do this in you just wish we use the stream API to actually make it a lot better so you write less code 
but I'm gonna do it the old way um, so that it's much more easy to follow as well and besides I can do it here because um, with Java 8 those methods don't exist yet so I'm gonna do it the old school way so I'm gonna say uh, while uh, m dot find so I'm gonna go over all find instances and we're just gonna go ahead and implement the counter and then we just need to return the counter okay so what we did was first we needed to match some pattern within the string or how many occurrences of this pattern exist in the string b so we create a pattern object then we create uh then we go through our string to see how many of the patterns exist we create a counter variable now we go through how many of the patterns we found within our matcher and then we go ahead and increment the count based on how many occurrences we found and then we return that all right simple is very very simple so let's go ahead and see that this works and let's go ahead and submit for the rest of the test cases.